make the origami swan, you need one square sheet of paper. The one that I'm using here is a three inch square. The first thing you want to do is you want to fold your square sheet of paper in half diagonally so that it forms a triangle. Next, you're going to unfold and then align this bottom side over here with the diagonal crease over here. So just fold it upwards and crease that in. After that, you want to repeat the same thing at this end. So I'm just going to rotate the unit a little bit like this and fold it upwards. Crease that in. And then flip a unit over. Next, you're going to align this side over here with the horizontal center crease right in the middle. So just fold it upwards and crease it in. Next, rotate the unit and repeat the same thing at this side over here. So align this side with the horizontal center crease. Fold it up and over. Crease it in. And now you should have something that looks like this. Next, you're going to rotate the unit so that this pointy side is pointing down. And then you're going to bring that pointy side up to this point over here at the top. So just fold it up, align the two points, and then crease it in. OK. Next, you just want to fold it in half like this, so do a book fold so that your unit looks like this from the top and like this from the side. Then you want to draw this part over here, which is the swan's neck, and you want to angle it slightly upwards like this. Now, you don't want to angle it all the way up, but just slightly like that. After that, you're going to fold the head downwards like this, as much or as little as you want. I'm going to fold a little bit more so that this beak is really long. And the reason why I want the beak to be very long is that I want to be able to fold the tip here down a little bit and arch it so that it forms half a heart shape. So if you look over here, it looks like it's half of a heart shape. So once I have one swan completed, I can always make another one and put them closer together so that it forms a heart shape right at the center, which is super adorable. Another thing that you can do is you can have a greeting card like I have over here, and you can just place them at the center, and this makes for a very quick and easy handmade card. And uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you think. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out some of my other tutorials. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!